Collins, Justin Knight with the Reebok Boston Track Club. For those who don't know me, I'm a professional runner. I specialize in the 5K, 1500, and sometimes the 10K. Uh, back when I was in college, I was a three-time NCAA champion. Uh, I got multiple All-Americans and lots of ACC titles. So don't worry, I'm gonna take you guys through an at-home core workout and you guys are in good hands. All right, so the first exercise slash stretch that we're gonna do is something that my team calls the crawlers. I don't know what the exact uh, name for it is, but we call them the crawlers. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to touch your toes, and then you're gonna crawl out, crawl out, crawl out, crawl out, crawl out, do one push up, and then come all the way back. So we'll do that for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. So the next exercise that we're going to do is plain old simple lunges. And what these ones do is just basically work on your hamstrings and glutes. And I don't know about you guys, but my hamstrings and glutes are always tight. So let's get, get it started with these ones. And I actually personally like to start up here and lunge back rather than lunge forward. It's a little bit easier to keep in the balance. Okay, starting now. So the next exercise we're going to do, we call them bicycles, and basically we're going to get on the ground and try to mimic like we're riding a bike. I keep my posture up, put your legs like this, and we'll mimic riding a bike forwards for 30 seconds, and then afterwards we'll switch and go the other way. All right, go. You want to really try to extend your legs on these, get that full stretch. All right, and after you just take a little short break, then we're going to do this again, but going the other way. We're going to do. I don't know if you guys ever tried to pedal a bike in the opposite way, but basically, essentially we're going to do that. So we're going to put our legs up again, and go backwards. This one's a little bit harder to do, doesn't seem as natural, but it's the same concept. This one's still really good for the hips. So the last two exercises we're going to do, we're going to kind of focus a little bit more on explosiveness. And the first one that we're going to start with is burpees. And I know that this is a lot of people's most hated drill, but for me, I actually like it better than doing push-ups. So let's do our 30 second burpees. And what you want to do is make sure you stand tall, jump as high as you can, get down in almost a push-up position, keep your legs out, and then do it again. All right? Starting now.
Alright, so the last exercise we're going to do is called fire feet. And the reason why is because you're going to act like your feet are on fire and you're going to get out quick and come back. And uh, we're going to do 15 seconds going one way and then we'll switch legs, okay? So you start on your left foot and you go down quick and then you finish in this position. Alright? Let's get ready to do it. Three, two, one. Now we're going to switch sides. All right, well, there you have it. Thank you guys again for joining me for this week's workout. We actually finished at the perfect time because apparently I was being a little bit loud and for you know those that are working at home, it was a little bit distracting. But finished just in time. I got my water, I'm gonna hydrate, and I got some fuel, a banana, and make sure you guys get something to eat and something to drink as well. Thank you for joining me.